On October 31, 1941, the Mount Rushmore National Monument was completed on stolen lands in the Black Hills of South Dakota. It was carved onto a sacred Lakota mountain face that they called the Six Grandfathers. The desecration started in 1927 after historian Dwayne Robinson conceived of an idea to make a monument to American West heroes. Robinson suggested Lewis and Clark, their guide Sacagawea, Buffalo Bill Cody, and the Oglala Lakota chiefs Red Cloud and Crazy Horse. But sculptor Gutzon Borglum decided to go with presidents because he claimed they had more appeal. Oh, and by the way, Borglum had ties to the KKK, and some of the project was funded by the organization. The indigenous people have been trying to reclaim their land ever since. Here's activist, history professor, Lakota, Lehman Brightman, during a protest in 1970. One of their leaders is Lehman Brightman, president of United Native Americans, an Indian protest group. Well, first I should say the federal government said this land would belong to us as long as the grass grows and the water flows and the sun shines. Then six years later they sent uh, General Custer into this area on an expedition and they discovered gold here in the Black Hills. Then they turned around and took this land from us. We're sick and tired of sitting back and uh, turning the other cheek and then bend over and get those other two kicked. You're going to see some wide awake, educated Indians. We've got some new Indians coming up, new warriors. And we're, this is a breeding ground right here. You're going to see a lot of spark. The National Park Service... What Brightman is mentioning there is the Treaty of Fort Laramie, which was drawn up in 1868, giving the Black Hills to the Lakotas. When gold was discovered in 1874, the treaty was broken and the U.S. took over the land. In July of 2020, Mount Rushmore saw another big protest as then-President Trump decided to hold a rally there. The immediate protest was environmental concerns since Trump decided to go with fireworks, but signs of stolen land and land back could be seen as the Lakota will not ever stop fighting for the protection of land, especially land sacred to them, like the Black Hills and land near water. During this 2020 protest, a member of the Oglala Lakota and activist Nick Tilson said, Mount Rushmore is a symbol of white supremacy, of structural racism that's still alive and well in society today. It's an injustice to actively steal indigenous people's land, then carve the white faces of the colonizers who committed genocide. 